Tonight, Baltimore City's state's attorney is calling on the governor to consider the supervised release of some inmates. WJZ's Live, Eva Dormanet, continues our team coverage. She tells us this request is because of concerns the coronavirus could spread behind bars. Ava Joy. Well, Vic, the state's attorney told us that she has the backing from some medical professionals, even folks from Johns Hopkins, and they believe if you release some people from jails and prisons, this could limit the spread of COVID-19 behind bars. But the governor, he's not on board. Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby is calling on the governor to consider releasing certain inmates in order to prevent a COVID-19 outbreak behind bars. In a letter sent to the governor this week, the state's attorney says medical professionals support her proposal. This virus is deadly and it's serious and the public health experts have already gone on record and said that if this virus becomes, it gets into the jails, that it, it could become an incubator. Mosby spoke with WJZ over the phone and she said this would only apply to people who have already been approved for parole, nonviolent offenders, older people, or those who have compromised immune systems. They would also be on supervised release. What we know about this set population is that they're not inclined to recidivate. They don't necessarily pose a public safety threat and they're already scheduled to be released. Governor Larry Hogan has concerns about the proposal. I said last week that right now we're trying to keep, um, you know, citizens in their homes. And uh, the last thing we want to do is release people that are now kind of in quarantine. The sheriff in Los Angeles County is already executing a plan similar to what Mosby is calling for. He's released 600 low risk inmates since February. Population within their jail is a vulnerable population just by virtue of, of who they are and where they're located. And instead of arresting people for low level crimes, the LA County Sheriff Department is handing out citations instead. Marilyn Mosby announced a similar move last week. Her staff will drop pending charges for nonviolent crimes like minor traffic offenses or prostitution and attempt to keep jails from getting more crowded during the pandemic. These jail facilities, these are landlocked cruise ships, right? These are landlocked cruise ships with the potential of, of increasing the spread of this virus. And right now, this is just a proposal without the governor's approval. No inmates will be released. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.